Hello, welcome to another Inkscape for Teachers video. This could be a rather ambitious video, but uh, here goes. What I've done is constructed a house plan. Certainly don't uh, be too critical. I haven't uh, thought this through greatly with uh, the practicalities of what works and what doesn't. But what I have done is based it on a whole series of parts, which I'll show you over here. So I'll leave a link to this file in the video description so you can open it up and use it, don't have to draw all these bits from scratch but you can have students uh, assemble a house plan based on these parts perhaps. So I'll just scroll down there's quite a few bits and pieces to choose from and I'll probably add to this over the course of the next few uh, days. Anyway, what uh, you can do is, look I might uh, build a house out this side to the right and show you what we can do. Now I've based the stroke widths for the walls on two millimetre strokes the external walls and one millimetre strokes for the internal walls. You can grab these bits here if you wanted to uh, including corners or you could just draw using the Bezier pen tool or B and change the stroke width. I'll show you how you can use these existing ones. So I'll click on that, control C and come over here, control V that might want to be my bottom left corner. Now you can duplicate parts, control D and control drag and you can reflect parts using these icons up here and so forth. You can also drag around both of those control D, control drag and reflect that uh, perhaps in a vertical axis something like that. Now I'll just use a simple uh, shape but um, if I wanted to join those walls, perhaps uh, grab that one, control C and control V over here and you can snap on there, you can see I've got snapping to cusp nodes and a few other snapping tools on, you can experiment with those but once that's snapped, I know that's in line but I might want to control drag, control constraints horizontal vertical and move along like that, you know, for a door or a window or something. If you want to extend a wall, just grab the end and do that. So that's one way to um, draw the, the walls. Again, if I wanted to extend this one, I could just drag down there and extend it. Just leave space for a window or a door and so on. If you want to do, you draw walls from scratch, B for the Bezier pen tool, just click until you snap then control, let's fill that in, click and enter. And obviously it's not the right width. As I said I use two mil so in the stroke style we're going to enter two and enter and fill that in. Same down here, I'll do it again. Control drag, click and enter, change it to two and enter and so forth. So you can quickly build up a perimeter. Another way, I'll just uh, remove all that, delete, is just use the rectangle tool, click and drag, and make that 2mm, and you've got it, but uh, that has no breaks in it. And also I've got rounded corners there, I'll just uh, hit R and go for straight corners, that's better. Now for example I wanted a front door in here, what I'll do is I'll convert this to a path. So I'll go path, object to path, you must do that. And now if I press N for the node tool you can see there are just standard nodes on the corners which you wouldn't have had before. If we want to uh, break the, the path here we can double click to insert a node. Perhaps uh, double click there as well. Select both of those nodes and select break there. And Control shift k forces the break. And now if I come back here, see there's a little section that's broken out, and I can delete that with the delete key. So there are different ways of getting the walls. Let's do an internal wall. Again, B for the Bezier pen tool. Snap in there, click. Control to constrain to vertical, click again and enter. But I'll make internal walls one millimeter. There we go. I can duplicate that, control D duplicates a copy on top and control drag to do something like that. We can even control D to duplicate again and rotate. 
can just drag that until it snaps there and then drag this one in and so forth. So you can uh, soon get uh, internal walls there. Let's look at a front door for example there. If I go across here, it's a one meter door. If you look once it's selected, oh, it's uh, not quite. You can change the, the sizes there. I thought I had, but um, anyway up here, if I type in 10, 10 mils is a meter according to the scale I've got here, and 10 there, enter. Now if I click on that, yes, I've changed the dimensions. That's one way of dimensioning things. But let's uh, control C that door, control V over here, and we want it to swing uh, inwards. So I'll reflect that using that tool, and if I want it to hinge there, okay, it might be that I want it there, or I might want it sort of roughly in the middle there. I can click on that uh, uh, rectangular border there, end for the node tool, and I can control click until that drags across there, control click there, perhaps. Sometimes you have to do it by eye. Back to select tool or F1. You see that looks pretty neat on one side, not so much on the other. I'll zoom in, in for the node tool, and control drag there. Really zoom in here, and maybe something like that. So by zooming in, you can get things quite accurate. So there's our front door. Okay, maybe some windows. I'm not going to do a complete plan here because uh, you get the idea after I've done one I would guess of most things. Let's just do a, an 8.8 uh, .8 metre window. Again, let's say 7.8, so I'm going to change the length there to 8. And divide by 10, that's 0.8 of a metre. Okay, just check this 1 metre window. That's not even not sure what I've done there. I think um, I allowed for the stroke width perhaps but uh, let's just change that to 10 and enter. Okay, control C for that window and zoom in control V and I'll drag them up until they snap in place there. I can control D to duplicate and drag a couple of windows like so. If I want to select one, control C, control V over here. If I want to rotate it round, you can use that icon and drag it into place there. I want three in a row, control D. Oops, I've selected a line. Start again. Click, control D, and then control drag. Control D, let go, and then control drag. I've got a three section window there. Now we're well on our way. Now let's have a look at our gallery of parts and uh, lots and bits of pieces there. Let's do a master bedroom. Let's grab the bed there, control C. Uh, that might be over here, control V. Again, if I want to rotate it, I can do that. And uh, maybe put in a bed near the windows there. If things are snapping, see that snapped and you know, it's magnetically attracted effectively to that point there. You can turn off snapping and then just drag things around where you want them. Might want a bedside table. There, control C, control V and rotate that one around as well. With that rotated around, control D to duplicate. And there. So there's my bed and bedside tables. Might want an ensuite. Let's do an internal wall. B for busy A pen tool. It's not snapping, so I'll turn snapping back on. Click. And maybe I'll do another little way across. Click and enter in the stroke style. Make it one millimeter. Enter. Okay. Let's have a look uh, in a toilet. If you want a couple of things. Just shift click on both of them, on one after the other, control C, control V, 
Again, I might uh, be a funny position for a toilet. Rotate that around there. That's in the corner. Again, snapping, so I'll turn it off. Shower might be over here. Or it might be there. You can play around with these things. Again, this isn't going to be perfect first go, but uh, look, even if you wanted a smaller share, you can click on it and then control shift drag to bring things down. I might, have put a, might need to do that. The toilet might be a bit big. You can do that uh, by resizing as well, grabbing a corner and control shift drag. Okay, what else? Uh, let's look at uh, a lounge suite perhaps. And there's one there. Let's drag around all the chairs and a coffee table. Everything. Control C. Let's put that in here. Control V or paste. Uh, send it on the cursor. Now I might drag my lounge suite over there. Again, I haven't got a door coming into here, but we won't worry yet. Look, you can even rotate it. Let's uh, click on that. If you click a second time, get these rotation handles. And I can drag up into position there. You can use the arrow keys, the square brackets. They go in 15 degree increments. You can rotate things that way. And you can reflect as well if you want to do that. If you don't want the words there, you can click on it and delete. For example, that one, click and delete. Let's put the coffee table, click again and rotate it. Something like that. If you want to edit the words, T for the text tool, you might just want to indicate that this is the lounge area, and then you know, position that word somewhere in the middle, like so. You can recolour the lounge suite. If you're doing a colour version, click on that and give it a colour. Um, yeah, it's up to you, but I'll leave it black and white. Okay. Let's have a look uh, for other things. Oh, look, I'll put another d internal door in. Click on that. Now notice that's gone back to 7.8. I thought I had changed that to 8mm. But uh, I won't worry for now. Control C. I might want a, a door in here. Again, what I can do, I can break it or I'll just control drag to drag it up to there. Control D to duplicate it, and then Control drag it down to. Uh, it's not um, locking. Turn on the snap tools. There it is, and I'll drag this end. So you can just put in two separate walls. Then Control V to put that doorway in. Might be that I rotate that around or uh, reflect it. Do you do you happy? And drop it in there. Might want to move the wall, or you can move the door. I'm not going to worry too much about the accuracy there. So that's another way you can put in a, a doorway. Uh, let's have a look. There are all sorts of bits and pieces uh, here. I won't uh, bore you with all of them. Uh, but uh, what I might now show you is how you can do another layer. So we might be happy with the floor plan. In fact, I perhaps should have done this layer before I started putting furniture in. But anyway, all this will be on if I click on the layers panel, which is this icon here. It's layer one. Now, everything's on layer one at the moment. But uh, maybe I can click another one plus there and call this furniture. I'll add that layer. Now I'm actually acting on the furniture layer now. What I'm going to do, oops, I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to drag around bedroom furniture. I'm saying layer one. I'm going to go layer, move selection to layer, furniture, move. Now one way I can check that's successful is I can turn off the viewing of the furniture layer. You see that furniture's disappeared. So I'll drag around that furniture, layer, move selection to layer, furniture, move, and now that's disappeared. 
and I'll just do this uh, oops, control Z zoom in control Z again sometimes you've got to be a bit careful you're not getting too close to a wall layer the selection of layer furniture and you can see all the um, furniture is gone but I can put it back in the layers panel so, like so or I can hide layer 1 which is the plan Oops, hide layer 1 so I can just have the furniture sitting in what appears to be the open ok, a bit of a lag there ok now what you might want to do is create another layer for perhaps the lights or powerpoint so I'll put that on lights and powerpoints clumsy fingers and that one and I'm operating on that, that layer now so I'm going to hide the furniture and put in some powerpoints or some lights now I think I've got uh, a light somewhere here up here if you click on that control C this might be the layer that you give to the uh, electrician and might be control V I want a light in that position control D to drag another light there and so on control D drag one there control D you know, wherever you want them same for powerpoints they'd be on the walls though where were they? Here. It's not drawn to scale the PowerPoint and the light. Control C, otherwise they'd be too tiny to, to show up. Control V might be a PowerPoint. You might just sort of leave it snapping there, for example. Control D might be another one there. So you can show that sort of thing. I'll just um, hide the PowerPoints. Oh, that is on the wrong layer. Oh, it's in layer one. It's operating on the wrong layer. Oh, lights, I'll go. Layer, no selection to layer. Powerpoints. Now they're gone because I've hidden that layer. And those two powerpoints. Layer, move selection to layer. Lights and powerpoints, I'll move those. So I'll go back and show the furniture. I wanted to show the powerpoints as well. I'll click that there and so on. I won't uh, keep going much further. Um, I've shown you a fair bit here. If you have any questions you can always contact me uh, via the uh, video uh, description in YouTube. And I th yeah, I think I might leave it there. As I said, there's lots of bits and pieces here. Got cars and uh, the north-south uh, indicator. Even uh, you know, as professionals, have a little block here with information about the home and the company and so forth. But uh, you can build up quite an impressive diagram using Inkscape tools. There, I'll leave it there. I think it's gone long enough. But uh, thanks for your attention. If, as I said, if you have any questions or any components you'd like me to draw and upload, I can do that. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.